Mistake number one that makes your tutorial video hard to watch is that it is just not easy enough to follow along. According to this research, the number one reason why people watch a tutorial video all the way is because it is easy to follow along. Now, if you if you're making a video that people can't follow along with, you've lost their attention. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can correct this mistake and make your videos easy to follow. I'm going to be sharing three other mistakes that you want to avoid making when making tutorial videos. So are you ready? Hey Go Getter, it's Salma Jafri, and on this channel, I share with you how to grow your visibility, credibility, and profitability with YouTube. So if that's what you want to do, hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon, and let's begin. In 2021, TechSmith, the makers of Camtasia, put together a research study called the Video Viewer Study. And inside this study, they were able to identify what keeps people watching a tutorial video, what makes them click out and makes your video completely unwatchable. So I'm going to take some information from that study and talk to you about four critical mistakes that make your video unwatchable. Now, I already told you that the first mistake was that your video is not easy to follow. So in order to fix this mistake, what you need to do is follow rule number one, which is show, don't just tell. Now, your words are more effective when they are also combined with the right visuals. It just makes it more impactful. So instead of just telling people what they need to know, think about can you show people as well as tell them? I'm going to give you a quick example. So in this video that I made about the best time to upload YouTube videos, I talked about the best time to upload, but then I also showed people what the consensus was. So I actually went to Google and typed in what's the best time to upload. And in this little clip, you can see that my viewer retention for the first 30 seconds of that video was 71%, which is higher than typical for my video. So I got more people engaged as a result of showing myself typing in a search result and typing in a search query and getting that result on Google versus just saying it. So you can do the same. Anytime you think about uh, telling something, think about, can I also show this? Can I visually depict this? And one of my favorite ways when I'm using Camtasia to edit my videos is to share my screen to show what I'm looking at, what I'm working on. So if I'm working on my computer and I want to tell you about some let's say I'm talking about how to design your thumbnails in, uh, for YouTube, right? I can actually show you by sharing my screen. And so sharing your screen is such an easy way to show, not just tell. Mistake number two that makes your tutorial video hard to watch is not being able to read the screen. Imagine this. Let's say I were to say, and so you can see the search result clearly on the screen, but really you can't. Because why? Because the text is too small and you can't really see what I'm talking about on the screen. There's a disconnect happening then, right? I'm saying that you can see it, but you really can't. And it's not a photograph. You can't exactly pinch to zoom. <laughs> so, so frustrating, right? You're like, oh, I can't see what she's saying. I can't read it. And therefore I can't follow along. So to fix this mistake, you want to go to rule number two, which is scale up and zoom in. Now, this is really easy to do if you're using Camtasia as your screen recorder software. So what I like to do is I like to go into the animation and choose scale up from there. And that means that I can choose to magnify the screen at that point. The other thing that I like to do is use the annotations feature to highlight where I want to direct the viewer's eye to go on the screen. If there's a lot of stuff happening on the screen, I want to go to annotations and use blur and highlight, and I want to direct their eye to that portion of the screen. So blur and highlight is a great feature to use for that. Sometimes I just want to use an arrow to point something specific out on the screen. 
And so I want to again go to annotation arrow and use that feature to make sure that people's eye is on that thing that I want to draw attention to. Now remember that you want to make the web page easy to read. So sometimes just scaling up the size of the web page is uh, an important first step before you even start editing your video. In order to do that, you just want to go to your browser. In this case, I'm using Chrome. So I'm just going to go to Chrome and increase the zoom factor of the web page itself. So remember, anytime you want to avoid mistake number two, which is not having a screen that's readable, you want to scale up and zoom in. Mistake number three that you might be making, and a lot of YouTube creators make this mistake, is going too fast. Now, when you are making a tutorial video and you go too fast, it confuses your audience. It makes them feel like the information is really complicated. It's very complex and it makes them feel a little bit stupid that they're not getting it. And you don't ever want to make your audience feel stupid, right? So what you want to do is you want to follow rule number three, which is be deliberate and intentional. So what do I mean by that? So I want to tell you that when you are making screen recorder tutorial videos, you want to be very deliberate with everything, where you are on screen, how your mouse movements are, where the eye is going, how you're directing people. You want to be very intentional about pausing at certain points and going straight to the thing that you want to show. Now, oftentimes I find that making sure that your mouse movements are not haywire is a critical component of not speaking too fast and making your video seem like it's going too fast. So I like using the Camtasia feature, which allows you to smoothen your mouse movements from being kind of haywire and chaotic as you're talking to smoothing them out and making them go at a more relaxed pace that the eye can actually follow along with. And the other thing that you can do is also use some of the other mouse features, which add a yellow highlight around the cursor so that people can follow the movements of the mouse more easily and that you are making sure that you are deliberately going to that point and being intentional about putting in pauses where people need to understand certain critical information. Another quick thing that you can actually do is to increase the size of your mouse pointer so that you can make it easier for people to follow. And again, that's a very deliberate, intentional way of making sure that you keep their attention and it's something you can do inside Camtasia as well. Mistake number four is you not appearing on screen. Now, research shows that not showing your face on screen is one of the top factors that will cause people to not be engaged with your video because then there it's kind of like you know death by powerpoint where they're just watching slides or videos of whatever is happening but they never get to actually engage with the presenter because the presenter is just off screen right and so it's kind of like the same effect where people's eyes just glaze over watching information pass by on video and so you don't want to make that mistake especially if you have a channel where you're the expert, you want to show your face in your videos, even though they're instructional videos and what you're showing on the screen takes precedent, but you still want to show your face. Now, I want to show you how to do that with rule number four, show your face. So how you want to show your face is critical. You don't just want to plaster your face in everywhere in the tutorial video but you want to be strategic about it. So the way I like to do it is show your face in the introduction, show your face at critical points that you're making to drive home certain points. I like using Camtasia's picture in picture feature for this. So for example, certain points, I want to put my face as the top layer. So that means that's going to be visible full screen on the video. In other times, I want my face to be like a picture in picture box while the emphasis is on what I'm showing on screen, but you can still see me right there. And at certain other times, I may want to take myself out of the frame completely if the information is so important that I want to show that, right? So you can do all of this manipulation of when to show your face and when not to by using layers inside Camtasia. And 
I think that it is really, really important that you do show your face and show your screen. And when when you are thinking about, you know, the kind of ratio, maybe you could do an 80-20 ratio on that. So show your face 20% of the time at critical moments, especially the intro and the outro, and anytime you are making important points inside your video. I really want to know what kind of tutorial videos do you make for your channel? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to make great tutorial videos and give Camtasia a try, then you can actually get started for free. And if you choose to upgrade, you can use my 10% discount code. I will put a link to that in the description below. And I will see you in the next video.